Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from Programmer vs. World and this is installing Apache Carafe and the web console on the Programmer vs. World YouTube channel. Now to install Apache Carafe, we have to go through significantly less steps than we did with Apache Felix. This will be a lot easier, not only on your memorization, but, but on the eyes as well. So let's get started. To grab Apache Carafe, we need to go to carafe.apache.org. And just like Felix, there's a download link on the left-hand side of the page. If we click that, we'll notice that Carif divides their distributions up into Windows and Unix, Linux, and Seguin distributions. This doesn't necessarily come into play. Uh, since it's a Java-based application, you can use any distribution you'd like on any type of machine you like. And here, we're actually on a Mac, and we're going to use the Windows one just to show you. So when we click on the Carif zip, uh, link that's provided on the downloads page will be taken to this mirror page. Uh, it's highly suggested that you just select the default mirror, which is up here up top, and you'll see the download kickoff, and there it goes. So just like we did with Apache Felix, I'm going to go into my downloads directory after uh, the Mac unzips this. You may have to unzip it yourself, and then I'm going to put it in a place where I can remember where it is. In this case, I have a special directory for Apache Care. I've already set up in the tutorials folder of my machine. Unlike Apache Felix, when we go into the bin of this daddy, you're going to see a whole bunch of scripts that are pre-built for you. You're not going to need to know the actual command line sequence needed to run Apache Carif. Uh, you're just going to need to come into this bin directory and execute one. So let's go ahead and close these windows and let's do just that. So we'll open up our terminal and uh, hopefully I'm on my in my home directory. I am. So from here, I'm going to go into my... Apache Carif folder where we just installed Apache Carif. And I'm also going to go into the bin directory. And when you come in here, you'll notice there's a whole lot of scripts that are already pre-built. Even though I downloaded the Windows distribution, which are what all the bat files are, you notice the shell scripts are still available for me as well on a Mac. It'll be the same for you on Linux. But instead of running all these others, I know they're confusing. We have client instance, caref, set environment variable, shell, start, status, status, and stop. Well, that's a tongue twister. We're going to run the caref uh, executable or shell script just so that we'll get dropped into their shell and see how it works. It does take a minute, by the way, so you have to be patient. You'll notice here we're provided with a little bit of color, which was something that the GoGo shell didn't have. And if we also do a help, we're immediately realized that there is a, a tremendous amount of commands that are prefixed by different namespaces. The interesting thing too is our previous commands that worked in Felix, like list bundles, do not work in Caref. So we'll need to actually look in our commands to, fi to uh, figure out what the new list command is. And I can actually see it right here. It's bundle list. So let's type bundle list and we'll see that, oh, how is this possible? We don't have anything installed. Well, Apache Caref doesn't operate under the same principle as Felix does. Felix is a very, very simple framework. Everything is up front. Everything's located in the bundles. Because Caref is tied to multiple uh, bundle repositories, it's able to actually use services like uh, Nexus or uh, OSGI repository formats so that it can keep all of its bundles offline and be able to get them for you without you needing to go to the website and download each and every one of them. Now, that's also tremendously powerful in the fact that Carif understands dependencies so that if you tell it to grab something, it will also grab all the other things that the designer of that specific feature said needed to be installed. Now to see this in action, we can continue, if we can continue looking at our help, we'll notice that there's a feature namespace. So we notice there's a feature list. So let's take a look at that. When we type feature list, let's expand our terminal window out here so that we can actually see. We'll see all these different bundles basically, or feature bundles, including one here for Jetty, that will allow, uh, here's also the web console that we're going to use, that allow us to install based upon a specific feature that we want in Caref, rather than us having to memorize what all the specific bundles that make up that feature are. So let's go ahead and install the web console into Apache Caref. And to do that, we're going to use the feature namespace of its menu. So I'm going to clear the console, and I'm going to go feature 
info web console. Now this does two things. One is it'll show you all the things that are going to be installed and how they're going to be installed. In this case, we see a lot of Maven keywords everywhere, but it also validates that the word that I typed in web console is an actual feature. Uh, sometimes it can be very frustrating uh, going from the feature list to the actual install command. You may forget what the actual name of the feature is, and this is just a good way to check. So I'm going to clear the terminal again, and I'm going to go feature install web console. Now the feature of the web console is installed. If, if I go to feature list and I scroll through this list and look for the web console, I'll now notice it has a couple check marks and then two columns here. If we scroll up to the top, we can see that that's required and installed. So we know it's there. Unfortunately, it's not actually running. We have to also start it just the same way we would start a bundle. So let's type feature colon start web console and we then start it up. Now, unlike Felix, it doesn't use port 8080. Instead, it uses 8081. You can still see our 8080 in there from Felix. But so if we go to 8081 system console, you'll get prompted by a login screen. Now the login for Carif is not admin admin. It's actually Carif Carif. So K-A-R-A-F, K-A-R-A-F. And voila, we're in the same place that we were during the Apache Felix tutorial, except you'll also notice here, there's a lot more stuff installed in our actual console, which is strange because if we go back to our, our, our terminal and we say bundle list, you'll notice we get nothing. But when we're looking inside here, we see a tremendous amount of detail of things that actually are installed. Uh, it's important when using Caref to always, always use the web console uh, if you're ever troubleshooting an issue or if you're ever wondering what's specifically installed. The shell is very powerful, but it can also be very confusing from people coming from Apache Felix. You'll also notice that up in the menu, we have a new features section. So just like we did the features list, <clears throat> we can also look in here and see all the features that showed up in this list. But even better yet, we have a simple little button over here to install the feature from now on. So we never need to go back to the console and type those commands again. Web console was all that we needed. You'll also notice that a large amount of spring uh, bundles have been added here, including object relational mappers. The entire struts framework is inside here. Uh, all this stuff is pre-done by developers so that at the click of one button, you can have an entire framework populated inside of Apache Caref. So what essentially we learned, we learned that Apache Felix is very bare bones and is designed for people who want absolute control over what bundles are being installed. Apache Caref comes with a lot of features out of the box and is really for people who want to use installations of Apache Caref to do um, large scale features. So which one you use is completely up to you. The workflow is generally the same. You'll notice that on our bundle list, we have an install and update button just like Felix does. So it's more than capable of doing the same job that Apache Felix is. You just may have to wade through a little bit more modules. If we sort our modules by ID, you'll see there's 220 bundles installed in this framework already. And I know what you're saying, that sounds like a lot. It, it isn't. This framework is capable of incredible performance with thousands of bundles installed. And these bundles are just small class libraries half the time. They're not even large things. So don't think of these as running processes or running programs like on your computer. Think of these as being independent namespace or packages that are being used in a composite application and you'll be okay. For Programmer vs. World, I'm Jeff and this has been installing Apache Caref and the web console. Keep browsing our channel for even more videos and have a good one.